So I've officially left Idaho. We are heading to Walla Walla, Washington, known for wine, onions, and the prison. <laughs> But they do have good turkeys. They have some pretty good hunting down there. Walla Walla used to be uh, where I lived and my parents still live there right now. So that's what we're doing is we're gonna go visit my parents, me and the pop, Nala, say hi. She's not too enthused about the turkey hunting. Not as much as I am. But we're gonna go down there. I got two turkey tags in Washington. So I figure what better way to, uh, you know, spend that time with my uh, with my parents and do some turkey hunting as well so it should be a fun couple of days hopefully get a couple of birds would be the ideal situation but either way it's gonna be fun um, we're just headed there right now I think I'm about an hour and a half out so hopefully everything goes well and at least we get some good footage don't mind all the bugs on the windshield but we are here a little different looking down here everything's in bloom home for next three days I was out here trying to roost some birds and I just spotted my first group of Rio Grands way way up on this uh, other hill up here where I, I, I already have permission to hunt it so it's perfect but man they are way up there I'm hoping they're gonna drop down but at least got some birds to go look at I don't even know if I'll be able to get them on footage they're 1500 yards away like way up um, hopefully if they go into the roost that I think they're headed to I think we are uh, definitely in the game tomorrow uh, at least in the morning hopefully they're just a whole bunch of toms it looks like there's six of them uh, they shouldn't be all grouped up like that but they look like toms hopefully they're not a whole bunch of jigs but let's see if I can't get them spotted from here let's see here Yeah, let's get a little closer. Maybe I can, if I get a little closer, maybe we can get them. All the way over here, and I just can't tell. That one looks like a tom. Here, they're probably going to the roost right now. That one is definitely a tom in the front. It's like toms and jakes. Man, I wish you'd just fan right there so I could definitely tell. Might have to go home and blow this footage up, see if he's got a good beard on him. They're gonna go into that roost. That's right below him. One of the front looks pretty big, I just can't see his beard. Three in the back look like Jake's. That one just might be a little better. Well, they're pretty responsive. Now, only if he'd fan. Come on. Well, I know exactly where these guys are going to go to roost. It is not easy to get into. But I know how to set up there. Oh yeah, that's a tom. That's a good tom. Uh, we're in the game tomorrow. That's what happens when you have autofocus. <laughs> Well, I definitely saw that that was a tom. So instead of sitting here and watching them, what I'm gonna do is go down the road to a couple of different spots, just check out if there's turkeys there. But that is awesome. And it looks like they're all, it's a tom and maybe three jakes. And 
I think if I put the strutter up with a couple hand decoys, uh, they aren't going to be having it. They're going to be thinking they can take them on. So that, that's really good for me in the morning. I'm really excited about that. Some beautiful old real grand turkeys. Well, it's my, uh, it's my first bear of the year. It's a nice chocolate. Young bear. But that's the cool thing about being back home. I know there's a lot of bears up here. And right in the evening, right when they're supposed to be out. It's not a bad one. Pretty. For some reason down here in uh, Walla Walla, you don't see a whole lot of black bears. You see a lot of chocolate colored. So that's pretty standard. Oh yeah, you can get a snack. There it goes. Well, I don't have a bear tag for Washington, so we're gonna let him be. We're gonna get back on the turkey trail. I got a couple spots where I'm gonna check just off the road. They're gonna be able to hear me a long ways away, so I possibly might be able to get another couple at least roosted. That way we got some options for in the morning. If this doesn't work out, we can change spots really quick. I can't believe that happened. That's not the way I wanted to get a bird. <sighs> Man, <sighs> that Longbeard XR ammunition put a smack down on him right up the hill. I, I, I couldn't move. I couldn't move the camera. I couldn't move anything. I can't believe what this Tom did. He ended up flying across the canyon, which a lot of times they just walk. I've witnessed them go up top and fly into this right up here where I have some of my decoys. Like, that's where they fly into. I've never had them fly down behind me in the thick stuff. And then this here, I, I just want to kind of explain my setup a little bit here. So these birds are roosted over in those pines on the other side. And they usually will come down and fly on this side. Well, I'm sitting. Right in here, I got a little nestled. So it's, it's actually a bed. And I'm just kind of nestled right in there. And what happened was, I'm sitting here and I'm pointing out this way. Well, this Tom ends up following ahead. This is way down the hill right here, right behind this pile of brush. And within, I don't know, maybe five yards, pops out right there. I can't move to get the camera on him. And I figured, I only got a couple days down here. Might as well get one. And if I would have moved to get the camera, there just would have been no way. And so I swung on him, he put his head up. And boom, there he is. He's not a he's not a huge bird, but he is definitely a tom. I saw him strutting up around the corner there, so I knew when he was coming. He's got about eight and a half. It might make nine. It's pretty long. It's in there pretty good. Oh, I can't believe that. 
I cannot believe that. And this is not the Tom that I saw last night. So this was a different Tom. I don't know where he came from, but I know the other ones are on the other side. They're obviously not gonna come over here a shot, but if they're gonna use that roost again tomorrow, I know where I'm gonna be. <laughs> oh, you know how pumped I am. I can't believe I got one coming in. First day I've been here. Roosted some birds last night. <sighs> that bear was a good omen. Uh, that's what it was. Bear was a good omen. Uh, it sucks I didn't get it on camera, but man, this has been such an exciting hunt. I mean, I was, <sighs> it took some, some stuff out of me. My legs are gonna cramp bad tonight. This is, if you can tell, I mean, it, this is some pretty steep and nasty country. And this is this is where I learned to turkey hunt so you know there are some fields down below but this right up here this is one of my key spots I can't believe I got one <sighs> well I'm gonna wait for the Sun to come up a little bit take some pictures and then we'll head out of here and I'll probably be in here tomorrow morning I'll probably come back this evening just to roost some but I cannot believe that worked out that well to at least for me to get one I promise I won't shoot the next one unless I get it on video. <laughs> Look at that bird. He is absolutely beautiful. I forget how pretty these real grands are, but I'm super pumped to get this bird. I can't believe that. I just came down yesterday, and to be able to put a game plan together and come up to one of my old spots and get one uh, means a lot to me. I, I kick myself for not getting it on film. Uh, because I pride myself on getting all my all my kill shots on the camera, but you know sometimes it just can't happen. Uh, with limited time, I'm probably going to be here two more days, um, and I want to spend some time with my family, uh, my parents when I'm down here. So I I, I wanted one really bad. <laughs> I can't believe I got one. He was so close. I don't understand how he. He didn't putt and kind of run off or anything, but he came around the corner, and like I showed you before, I mean, he was within, if I'm looking at it right now, not even five yards, and he's looking on top of me, uh, and I'm looking dead away from him, and all I heard was, I heard him strut, and I figured I'd wait a second, I tried moving the camera beforehand because I thought he was going to come in from behind me and put it up here, but he wasn't going to come into the decoys, it didn't look like, so... I just had to swing. I swung, he put his head up, and boom, and end of story. And uh, burnt down on day one of Washington. Ah, oh, that gets me pumped. I can't believe I got one. One more tag. I got one more tag to go. Uh, I'm super excited to come back up. Uh, as you can see, all this stuff behind me, um, all, all that is, uh, I have permission to hunt that too. I just figured I'd come up here because when I saw the birds, they were way up on this hillside. And I figured they're going to fly down where I've seen them fly down before. I mean, it's turkey sign all over the place and come right into me. But um, if I'm going to come in here tomorrow, I think i got to get a little closer to the roost. These guys hit the ground, even though they're gobbling like crazy, they went on the other side. So that's that's perfectly fine. I can go over there, too. So, but, man, I'm pumped. Get one on the board. One on the board in Washington. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to get stuff packed up before I head out of here. Been too, too pretty good in the mornings getting out of here before hell i think it's not even uh seven o'clock yet <laughs> awesome About climbing all the way up here and I gotta get down uh, and like always I have a lot of stuff on my back what three decoys the gun 
I got the camera. Now you had about a 20 pound bird. Gets a little heavy after a while. <laughs> That's okay, we got it done. The thing about these hills is you're pretty much never walking on a flat surface. I mean, there's trails up here, but they're still really steep and your ankles are always turning. And the one thing I forgot about Walla Walla was everything has a thorn on it. So that's always a lot of fun. But we're just gonna take our time and go down here. But look at the view. I love this country. Look at that. Hills, but big open hills running into timber. Yep. It's where I learned how to turkey hunt, taught myself. Just watched guys on YouTube, you know, watched some of the pros, and it just made me want to do it myself. Taught myself how to call, you know, just hours of watching videos and trying to mimic stuff. <sighs> yeah, it's just a little steep. I don't know if you can tell, but that's that's pretty much straight up. <laughs> All right, well, great first day. All right, so I'm out of there. Uh, it's quite the hike down. It's not that far to walk, but man, is it steep. And I'm happy to say I only fell once. <laughs> That's the nice thing about having so much gear. When you fall, you just fall on your decoy, so you're, you know, you're good. But uh, yeah, it's 6:44. We're doing this in record time, so I'm gonna go home and uh, grab a bite to eat, and maybe take a nap. <laughs> but man, I'm stoked. Day one here in Washington, my old. Mold honey holes and it came through. Uh, I'm super ha I'm super happy, super pumped, ready to go tomorrow. That just feeds the addiction. <laughs> Nala and I are officially headed home, back to Coeur d'Alene, and uh, I, I'm extremely happy I was able to get one bird down here. After uh, hunting the next two days, I realized that um, it was gonna be really, really tough to get another bird. All of my access that I used to have, you know, all the land that I had permission to hunt, um, has exchanged hands and I just wasn't able to get a hold of anybody to even ask. Um, things have definitely changed a lot down there, which is, uh, you know, bound to happen, but kind of sad. So I feel extremely lucky to have gotten the one bird, but I still have lots of time and I'll, I'll be headed home uh, to try to get another bird and actually start bear hunting. And then I still have another tag in Washington and I'll be trying to hit some of the public lands up, the, up there close to where I live to try to get another one. But uh, it, it was a lot of fun uh, coming home, spending time with the family and able to have some success. I mean, you can't ask for more than that. But uh, I hope you guys are really liking these videos. I'll, I'll try to put out some uh, some tip videos on, on what I'm doing to be successful. I've been getting some requests for that, so I'll, I'll try to get those to you guys. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, just keep staying tuned, and I'll, I'll keep putting out as many videos as I can this year. And uh, thank you so much. See you in the next video.